God, most I am a Imasanda, you are Yahweh. 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 Alpha. And Omega, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, oh yes, Alpha, Gali Gala Labo Shandi Bali Debo Samba Yikale Delebo Shandi, just lift your voice and bless this mighty name, you are Yahweh, Alali Elebo Skandaya. And Omega, you are the beginning and the ending. Oh, yes, you are Yahweh, Masutali Balaki, Debush, Alpha, and Omega, the beginning, Alpha, and Omega, the beginning and the end. Oh, yes. <laughs> Alpha and Omega is your name. Just bless and lift his name as we worship. <laughs> Alpha and Omega, you are the beginning and the end. Oh, oh, oh. Alpha and Omega is your name. Aliba Mazditama kete borotos in Jesus' name. As we continue to worship God, as we continue to bless His name, I just want to read Revelations chapter one verse eight first. It says, "I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the Alpha and the Omega." It simply says, I am the beginning. I'm not just a beginning. I am the beginning and the end. He is the one who has the key to everything, says the Lord. The one who is, the one who was, the one who is to come. Hallelujah. The Almighty. Hallelujah. The Almighty references God's mightiness. It represents God's unlimitedness. Oh, Mazatayaba. He tells us he is the Shaddai. He's the one who has all power. Pasutalika Shanda. Bless his holy name at this moment. Worship him. Oh, Masandalaba. Invite this mighty God, the one who knows your beginning and the end. Ask him, God, come into my life today. Come and change my situations. Come and answer the questions of my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, we are going to read a portion of the scripture and pray a brief prayer over it in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 9, verse 16, rather, it says, Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of evil. Brethren, there comes a time in a person's life that certain elements will not work. Bringing to judgment might not work. Even you yourself, you find out that things are not just working well according to the way you have done all the necessary spiritual regimen, all the attitudes that needs to be done in order to get to your key. But something seems to be missing. It seems as if nothing is working. Brethren, it is time to come to the throne of grace, to hold on to grace today and say, Father, I hold on to your grace today. Let your grace speak for me today. Let your grace speak for me as I end this year, Lord. Let your grace deliver blessings into my life. Prayers in Jesus' name, even as we move to the next 